Backflips are probably one of the coolest party tricks out there and a fantastic addition to any talent show. But more importantly, there's actually a lot of physics behind just a simple backflip. So in this video, we will go over all of the physics and equations that go into a single backflip, including the angular momentum and the moment of inertia. To begin, we'll have to get off the ground first. So the first principle we need to go over is Newton's third law. Every force has an equal and opposite force. So if we want to use X amount of energy to jump a certain height, we have to expend the X amount of energy pushing into the ground, which will push us up and make us jump. Next, in the air, we have to complete a rotation, and this is where the scary equations come in. If we were to go in a straight line, we will use the momentum formula, which is P equals to mv, where P is momentum, m is mass, and v is velocity. However, in the case of a backflip, we need to use the angular momentum formula, which is L equals to I omega, where I is the moment of inertia, and omega is the angular velocity. We are using this because we will be traveling at an angle during our flip instead of going completely straight. In order to complete a full flip instead of face planting into the ground, we need to make sure that our angular velocity is high enough to complete a flip in the air so that we'll be flipping fast enough. Let's say we need y amount of angular momentum to complete a backflip, or y kilometers squared per second, as that's the unit for momentum. And we also want to increase our angular velocity as much as possible. This means that we have to somehow decrease our moment of inertia, but how do we achieve that? The moment of inertia has its own formula as well, which is i equals to mr squared, where the i is the moment of inertia, m is mass, and r is radius. We can't really change our mass, so the only thing we can do is to decrease the radius, which will decrease the moment of inertia. In this context, the radius is the distance away from our axis of rotation, and in this case of a backflip, this axis is in the middle of our body. You can think of it as we are rotating around an invisible bar that goes across our body during a backflip. This is why whenever you see someone do a backflip, they always tuck in their legs and arms. By tucking in those body parts, we are decreasing the distance from the axis of rotation, which will decrease our moment of inertia as per the equation, which means that we will be able to have a higher angular velocity, making it spin faster to complete a backflip. Here's an example of this in motion. As you see, this person is spinning faster when their ribs are closer to the middle than if they are further away. This is what we call the conservation of angular momentum. The closer you are to the axis of rotation, the faster you move. And there we have it. To complete a backflip scientifically, we first need to launch ourselves off the ground using Newton's third law. Then, increase your angular velocity to be fast enough to complete a flip in the air. As we learn from the angular momentum formula, in order to increase the angular velocity, we need to decrease our moment of inertia, which can be done by tucking in your limbs in to decrease the radius, or the distance from the axis of rotation. I hope that all of you learned something new and interesting today. Thank you for watching and good luck with everything.